Helicopters to design and build from scratch are very difficult and require a lot of expensive research and design. A helicopter kit from an established helicopter manufacturer can allow an average person to build and fly their own helicopter for around approximately $50,000 and 500 hours of assembly time. Here are the top 20 insane homemade helicopters. The AW95 is the latest update of the chopper, which dates back to the late 1950s. This new design has improved state-of-the-art components that replace the obsolete or hard-to-find components used in the original. It has vertical takeoff and landing. It has the standard helicopter-type control system. The AW95 was designed to comply with the U.S. experimental amateur-built rules, since the empty weight is too heavy for the FAR-103 lightweight vehicle rules, which stipulates that a maximum empty weight of 254 pounds. The aircraft has a standard empty weight of 271 pounds. This insane homemade helicopter was basically the same sturdy airframe and drive components, but with an attractive new streamlined cabin. Quite a few of these were also produced. It was in 1979 that CHR got its start, when company president Murray Sweet bought his first helicopter kit along with the Canadian rights to market the design. After completion of his commuter IIB and successfully flying helicopter test, Murray began making modifications in an effort to save weight, lessen maintenance, and increase safety and dependability. It was worth 22 feet long and only 8 feet tall. These homemade aircraft come in different forms, starting with a piston engine ultralight version. The helicopter model shown in this video is a fully built helicopter with a turbine engine. For approximately $20,000, the entire Mosquito helicopter kit can be purchased. Prices may vary according to which dealer you contact. You can actually start building the Mosquito for a lot less because the kit is sold in small affordable chunks, and the first kit, the frame, sells for only $3,000. Rotoway built its first aerial vehicle in 1961. The Scorpion was offered in 1967 as the first workable kit helicopter. It was a single-seated intended for the sport flying market. As such, it was simple and relatively cheap by helicopter standards. It flew until 1978 and sat for 25 years until purchased by Ted Fisher, who began a restoration program. The engine was a four-cylinder, four-cycle, 133-horsepower engine. In 1977, because of the increased engine power, the length of the Scorpion's blades increased from 24 feet to 25 feet. Starting with the tech inmate ingredients of the Safari Kit, a flight-ready Safari can be customized to your specifications including paint, interior, engine, avionics, and accessories to create a helicopter that is uniquely yours. Hope you heard this technology news before. Finished at the level of quality that you would expect from the producers of the Safari Complete Kit, your new Safari will be flight tested and truly ready for fun. Exterior height is 8 feet 2 inches and length 33 feet 5 inches. The maximum speed is 100 knots. The Skylark was designed to comply with the U.S. experimental amateur-built aircraft rules. It features a single main rotor, a single seat open cockpit without a windshield, skid type landing gear, and a twin cylinder liquid cooled inline two stroke carbureted 70 horsepower Hur 3503 aircraft engine. A cockpit enclosed was optional. The manufacturer estimates the construction time is 300 hours. By 2005, the company reported that five were completed and flying. The XEL is an ultralight helicopter designed to fall under FAA regulations so it can be flown by anyone without totally skimping on safety. The ultralight XEL kit comes with a top-notch piston-powered engine that lets the pilot fly for 45 minutes at a time with a cruising speed of about 62 miles an hour. It's the perfect little DIY helicopter for people who want to know what it's like to fly, just not too high. It even comes with floats so you can take her down to the lake, and you can get it for only $41,000. The Hungarocopter is a Hungarian helicopter produced by Hungarocopter Limited. The aircraft was designed to comply with the European Microlight aircraft rules. It features a single main rotor and tail rotor, a single seat enclosed cockpit with a fairing, or an open cockpit without a windshield, skid landing gear, and a four-cylinder four-stroke 135 horsepower Subaru EJ22, or 160 horsepower Subaru EJ25 automotive conversion engine. The six-cylinder 125 HP D-Motor LF39 power plant has also been used. The construction time from the supplied kit is an estimated at 300 hours. The Hummingbird 300L is one perfect example of how to build a helicopter. 
It was born in 2018 as a wide-body single-engine, single three-blade single three main rototype kit helicopter with a two-blade tail rotor. Powered by an FAA-approved Continental aircraft engine that boasts some very impressive performance numbers, the Hummingbird 300L was designed to be a certified helicopter, a real advantage over conventional experimental kits. Its technology, performance, craftsmanship, and safety record are unmatched. The price of the kit is $159,000. Though the engine is sold separately and can be purchased through Vertical Aviation Technologies. The Aero Self-Bit Helicopter is one of the most superbly engineered single-place helicopters we've ever seen. The plans manual offers page after page of highly detailed construction prints, photos and assembly instructions to guide the builder. This single-seat helicopter can be built in a well-equipped home shop. It features a bolt-together mainframe with a conventional helicopter control system. The Aeros home-built helicopter is certainly a well-thought-out helicopter of its time, and a proven flyer, though it is hard to come by any flying examples other than the concept craft. It may sound just like a drone, but no, this has more specifications. This racy-looking 12-rotor coaxial multicopter has been filmed in Croatia pulling extreme rolls and loops, and carrying a human on board. A central seat can carry a passenger. The team took the big drone, as it's called, to Versar in Croatia to put it through some extreme maneuvers, and a Red Bull detachment followed to film and photograph the event. With a dummy passenger on board, the team performed a bunch of wild aerobatic maneuvers, including extravagant rolls and loops, the likes of which we've never seen in a multi-copter this large. This homemade helicopter is an improvement on what was already the world's best personal helicopter. In addition to being the most reliable helicopter kit on the market, the A600 Turbo combines an impeccable safety record with the industry's best pricing. The A600 Turbo has a cruise speed of 95 miles per hour and a VNE speed of 115 miles per hour. It conveniently runs on 92 octane or 110 LL fuel and has a range of 170 miles. Additionally, the all-new A600 Turbo has an average fuel consumption of 8 miles per hour and a service ceiling of 11,500 miles. Rotoway currently offers the A600 Talon helicopter kit for $89,730, which includes the engine and everything needed to get it in the air. It's always nice to appreciate the projects which start out with early prototypes that eventually lead to more complex designs. Now this first design looks pretty much like a barrel with a bunch of strapped on motors, but huge respect to the creator for actually flying this machine. His commercial designs actually look pretty impressive too, and his concept features a fully enclosed cabin with tilt blades, so hopefully in the future it gets off the ground and can become a commercial flyer. This homemade helicopter is a single-seat, semi-rigid, two-blade main rotor helicopter powered by a solar T62-32 engine. Specifically designed features include a fully harmonized rotor, a modulated collective pitch system, and a very low twice-per-revolution vibration level due to elastometric thrust bearings, a sufficient flapping angle for low G maneuvers, and slope landings, control friction devices, and electronic throttle control. The feel of the controls in the helicycle is modeled after that of the Robinson R22, such that quick stops and auto rotation are performed similarly in both aircraft, reportedly allowing new pilots to transition to flying their kits with minimal adjustment. The Volocopter, a helicopter drone hybrid with 18 rotors, took its first manned flight in southern Germany on March 30th, according to the company eVolo. With Evolo's managing director, Alexander Zosel, in the cockpit, a truly strange-looking aircraft took to the skies above the airfield, hovering for several minutes, and then landed. A video chronicling the feat features heavy electronic dance music because the company claims its ultralight multi-copter, which is electric, emissions-free, and easy to operate thanks to its touchscreen display and joystick control, marks the first time humans dream of personal flight as a daily routine becomes attainable. The Concepto Milenia, or simply Milenia, is a concept for an ultralight aircraft developed by Kaizix Mediolia, often referred to as the flying car. The aircraft was developed by its inventor as a means to cope with heavy road traffic in Manila. Kaizix Mediolia began developing Milenia in the early 2010s, using his own money to fund his project in its early years of development. Friends and relatives later helped him win this project. Millions of pesos and at least six years have been spent on the development of the aircraft. 
I think we've all seen this hover bike idea before, and the horrendous Dubai helicopter crash shows what happens when you go too far with these types of things. Anyways, I still like this particular bike, as it's a work in progress project, which is already pretty stable. It's pretty much set up like your typical drone with an auto hover and an auto GPS. Tracking the newer version will also incorporate flying two fly-by-wire joysticks and govern to 60 miles per hour. There definitely should be incorporated safety features like isolated flight control systems. The DF-1 was designed to comply with the US FAR 103 lightweight vehicles aircraft rules, including the category's maximum empty weight of 254 pounds. The aircraft has a standard emptying weight of 234 pounds. It features a single main rotor and tail rotor, a single seat, open cockpit without a windshield, skid landing gear with ground handling wheels. The rotor is driven by tip jet fueled by hydrogen peroxide, which emits only water vapor and oxygen as exhaust products. This aircraft fuselage is made from steel and aluminum tubing. The original Sikorsky Rotocraft helicopter concept was based on a coaxial design much like the air scooter. Handlebar controls represent the most distinguishable feature of this Russian homemade helicopter. Air Scooter's patented design also provides an amazing level of stability while in the air and during flight. Pearson designed and engineered an ultra-lightweight four-stroke engine specifically for Air Scooter. After over two years of intense design and testing, the Aero Twin engine can easily produce 65 horsepower and 4200 RPM and weighs in at less than 90 pounds dry. This is the people's champ, at least according to its makers, Jetson. A company called Jetson knows pretty well how to make a helicopter. It's called the One, a vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, or VTOL, because nobody has time for that. Indeed, nobody has time for commuting either, so Jetson has opened up the One's ownership. It weighs 86 kilograms in total, while the pilot can weigh up to 95 kilograms. It can fly for a full 20 minutes with an 85 kilogram pilot on board, up to a limited top speed of 63 miles per hour, which is more than fast enough for an average consumer. Which one is the most insane helicopter? Do you have any plan to build and fly your own helicopter? Let us know in the comment below. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take care of yourself.